serving the meal, which we were planning that a little different. That's for you folks that come early and you're in the service. So we're raffling. We've got still bug repellent and we've got two $10 gift cards to McDonald's. So that's what uh, you get. So not a piece. Of course, it's one item so that we can pull at least four to six uh, tickets every week to bless you with. And that stuff is donated as well. So we're very grateful uh, that we have that kind of stuff. The bugs are still out there, so it's still a blessing. Uh, yes, that looks if you've ever nice. had to buy it, the mess is expensive. So yes, it um, is. it's a great blessing to have. So it's not something that any of us turn our nose up to. I've even gave my own personal pain yeah, away. Is real. Yeah, steals. for real. And it's like they're yeah. huge. Like they could carry us away. Some of them, it seems like mm -hmm. they just tear us up, right? Mm -hmm. So it's a great blessing to have. And all you got to do is come. Uh, be in service and hopefully your ticket will get pulled and called so uh, do we got any birthdays this week we're looking at through today the 29th up until let's see uh, next Monday so we'll say the 4th September the 4th so the 29th through September the 4th anybody got a birthday this week that we can do a little shout out and sing a happy birthday to anybody you got a birthday? Oh, no. no? Okay. Oh. No birthdays? I don't have no birthdays. No birthdays. No birthdays this morning. All right. No birthdays. Oh, oh well. Man. We tried. We tried. Um, so, again, in covering the announcements, because Brother Bernie's going to take in our prayer request, but he's got, you got another few minutes, Brother. Um, next week, what time are we going to be here? 12 o'clock. Very good. And then you can get breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner is served Monday through Friday. Breakfast, 730 at Operation Inasmuch. That is on Hillsboro Avenue. Your lunch is at the Dream Center Men's Shelter on Person Street next to the Wiener Works at 12 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And you can get a dinner seven days a week. It is a light dinner on Saturdays and Sundays at the Salvation Army at 5 p.m. Plus the ministries that we used to all be together, but I came here to the Dream Center. The ministries that are down at the Dream Center Men's Shelter, uh, they will be there as far as I know Friday at 3.30. My cheeseburger guys, what we call them. And you do have a church coming Saturday at 12 o'clock this week. So those are beside the Wiener Works. Those are the additional ministries to let you know that those folks are out there to bless you, to help you. To give to you so let them love on you you've got places that you can go and items that you can get resources that they can bless you with so please uh, they take time just like we do to prepare and plan and to be here so please let them bless you at this time we're going to go into our praise reports and our prayer requests with you my ministry partner brother Bernie, is going to take those in for us tonight and pray over them please feel free to share uh, even if you don't, there's a time we'll say, uplift your hands. God knows all about it, all right? But you will make the service as much as you want. You give just as much as you want. We'll take just as much as you want to give. That's We're right. here to, to support you, to pray with you, to love on you. Whatever that we can do, that's what we want to do. Yes, so let us. Let us be a service to you tonight. Right, right? Amen. Thank Try you. Get in the camera, really. Thank you, Sister C. Dad. <laughs> How are everybody doing today? Oh, come on now. How are everybody doing? Good. There you go. There you go. Everything good. We still we still here, bro. Yes. Stay positive. Yes. Let's stay positive and stay prayed up. Stay positive and stay prayed up. Oh. Like Sister CJ say, I like to do uh, praise reports. Anybody got any praise reports? Anybody, uh, anybody get a job or somewhere to stay? Yeah. Something good That's happened because God did something for all of us. He woke us up this morning yeah. and allowed us to see another day. Amen. So, you know, that, that's good enough. We all, it's always good. Some people didn't wake up this morning. Right. Amen. You know what I'm saying? But we woke up. We got another chance. Whatever we didn't get right yesterday, guess what? We could get it right today. Yep. What we didn't do yesterday, we could do it today in the name of Jesus. Everything we should do, we should be done in the name of Jesus. That the Lord keeps working on me, soft in my heart, where it's on the fifty bed, nothing but a rock. Say it again. That the Lord keeps working to soften my heart up, where it's been nothing but like a rock inside. Yes. 
and he's finally working, help, working to help me soften it up. I keep forgetting your name. What's your name, brother? Stephen. Stephen. Amen. Amen. So we, we, we're going to pray that. You know, but God take that burden off of you. He said he left it heavy laden and laden. said, come to him, he'll give you rest, right? So you got to take it to him. Don't worry about me, but I'm gonna pray. we're going to pray with you. Because he's saying what? The two or three gather together in his name, we'll be what? There are also. Anybody, anybody else got a prayer request? I'll get rid of this toothache. All right. Mm. My sister won't get rid of that toothache. Mm. Which one? Let me, which one? Let me see. Fire! Fire! Right. <laughs> What's your name, my sister? Fontella. Fontella. All right. Sister Fontella got a toothache. Now help her get to the dentist. Anyone else? <laughs> yes, sir. First me not lose my temper. First me not lose my temper. Change. <laughs> you, 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 man, you need to talk after this. Yeah, you know? yeah, but we're, 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 we're gonna pray for you, though, brother James. We're gonna, hey, you know, <laughs> but you can control that now. Yeah, right. You don't let the enemy, the enemy come to provoke you, but, but you got the, you got the victory. Cause the word let us know greater than in us and the he that's in the world. So don't let anyone in the world cause you to lose your temper. All right, anyone else? Anyone else with a prayer request? Could somebody please turn your bells off? All right, don't take it back with you because you know what? Turn your bells. Prayer go where we can't go. <laughs> the music, the bells. The music, yeah. Anyone else? All right. Now I'm stopping prayer request by just showing them hands. About showing a hand. Everybody, everybody should have a hand up. See, I got my hand up. I need something from him every day. I'm a brother say so he needs to control his temper. But that's, that's all of us sometimes. Sometimes that old enemy get the best of us. We, we jump on us quick. But we have to know who we, who we belong to and who we are. Amen? Let's go to the throne of grace. Gracious Father, eternal God, Lord, we come before you. As humble as we know how at this moment, Lord, I tell you, thank you. Oh, Lord, thank you for allowing us to bring us this far on this day, Lord. Oh, Lord, we just thank you for your grace and mercy and your loving kindness. Oh, Lord, most of all, we thank you for your son, Jesus, Lord, the one who died for our sins, Lord. Oh, Lord, we thank you for the Holy Spirit that he sent back here to be with us, Lord. Lord, you heard all the prayer requests that went up, Lord. Lord, grant it to him right now like never before, Lord. Oh, Lord, Brother Stephen, say, Lord, Work with him, Lord. Soften his heart, Lord. Oh, Lord, because we know sometimes, we know the enemy come to steal a lot of joy, Lord. Yeah. But you is joy, Lord. Oh, Lord, we know you are everything that we need, Lord. So don't let the enemy come and steal his joy. Soften his heart right now like never before, Lord. Mm -hmm. Touch right now, Lord. Touch this sister up front here, Lord. Let's say she had a toothache, Lord. Oh, Lord, give her some relief right now, Lord. Oh, Lord, and then make way preparations that she may be able to go to the dentist, Lord. Lord, have thy way, Lord. Oh, Lord, our brother said help him with anger problems, Lord. Oh, Lord, I told him he need to talk with you a little bit more, Lord. We're going to talk with you right now for his behalf, Lord. Let him know that you're still with him, Lord. No matter what happened, Lord, he'll never be alone, Lord. You're right there with him, Lord. And, Lord, as we really go in this service, Lord, Lord, we want you to be with us, Lord. Hover your spirit all around this ground, Lord, in this room, Lord. And let that just the kind of glory come out, Lord. Oh, Lord, be with Sister CJ as she bring forth the bread of life today, Lord. Oh, Lord, don't let it fall on deaf ears, Lord, because we want to be doers of the word, not hearers only, Lord. Lord, continue to let your word go forth and change lives and purge like never before, Lord. And we give you all the praise and all the glory and the honor in your precious son, Jesus' name. And the church say amen. Amen. Amen, amen again. Amen. 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 Thank you, my brother. Yeah. Appreciate that. Appreciate you. And they're going to be preparing the meal. What time do you need to start bringing that out? Uh, I don't know. I'll make a judgment yeah. call, but we'll get you started. Okay. It's not going to be lengthy, Lord willing. Okay. That's a lot, so I'm going to start moving it slowly. Yeah. That work. Good to be with everybody tonight and hope uh, to be a blessing. Still having a little bit of trouble with my eyes, but I do have my contacts in, so I only have to wear the readers and not two pair of glasses as I did last week. My family was letting me know that was quite funny looking, apparently, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, Luke's Gospel, chapter 15. Jesus is speaking, and he says this. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, 
If you lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. And when he hath found it, he layeth it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbors, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep, which was lost. I say unto you that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Amen. Bless your reading, Lord. Tonight I want to speak to us about who am I missing? Who am I missing? I say that tonight because I have been sidetracked for a reason with my health and the different issues that I am dealing with right now. I know no more today than when this all began July the 27th. And yeah, I've had to put some more than usual focus on myself but I want to let you know however not one time has my mind or my heart ever been off of you my family or my team not one time no matter what I'm dealing with I have no answers I have no understanding don't have a specialist appointment as I thought that I was going to have I don't have anything no answers today but not one time has that ever superseded my heart and my mind to help you, my family, or my team, and be in a concern. So who am I missing? I asked this question because I sat there and praying and just asking God. I feel like I've been sidetracked. I've been feeling like the devil's been trying to get my attention on something else other than what my heart truly is all about. And that is this ministry, what God's called me to do. I don't want to be so caught up in my health. I'd rather be die. I'd rather die trying than die not doing anything at all. <clears throat> but there are people that are hurting. I want you to know. People that are hurting in this room, that are outside, that are watching Facebook, and maybe even later, because you have so many different arrows that are coming at you, and you feel like at one time or another, I can't go on. I don't see no way out. But I'm here to tell you tonight that giving up, is not an option. Suicide is not an option. Let us, as I was trying to emphasize when Bernie was up here, let us know. Come to us and talk to us so that we can pray. Because prayer is powerful. Prayer can prevent other things from happening. If prayer wasn't going forth, things could be much more worse, think about it, than what they are. Prayer can be hindering even more attacks of the enemy. So while you are out there trying to carry all these arrows and vexations and troubles, you need to let people that are saying, how can I help you, let me pray for you, you need to let us know, I am that somebody that needs that help tonight. You gotta let us know so that we can love and lean on God together. I wanna know if you are struggling because you feel so beat down and what, what's the point and can I get out and where can I go? Because who am I missing? Are you that one that the enemy is trying to distract me so that I don't see you and you're hurt and that you're calling out for help? Because sometimes we can get so wrapped up in ourselves, can we not? That we forget about others. We can be so consumed. People are being challenged in areas that they have never been before. I have always been fairly healthy. Always. Being challenged in areas. Maybe somebody coming at you. And they're actually trying to maybe promote you. And you think that it's not possible. And you ask yourself, can I do this? I'm going to tell you, don't question yourself when that challenge comes. Amen? Let us pray and ask God for the clarity that we need to have. Not to be confused, not to be in our own thinking. The Bible tells us not to lean unto our own understanding, but in all our ways to acknowledge Him, and He shall direct our paths. That is the word. But we, at times, do not call on Him. Do not pray to Him. Do not ask for Him to help us. 
Don't ask other people to help us that are reaching out as we are saying, can we pray with you? Can I tell you that with God all things are possible? Luke 1 and 37. Ask Him to guide you and to direct, to equip you for the challenge that is being presented to you. God help me. Who am I missing? Are you the one that's toting all those arrows in your back that you feel that being shot down? Are you the one that's being challenged in areas that you never thought that you would be challenged? Can I do that? And also there are people that are struggling in all different types of relationships. Such as our relationships with our family. Huh. Relationships with one that we're intimate with. Relationships that we have at work. Relationships that we have at church or our faith core. We can struggle with these relationships. We can struggle with our relationship of our social Network of people, not media. But we can struggle in our relationships that we have with one another. And so many different types of relationships. And what each of those relationships do is they carry each their unique emotion that is attached to it. Love has many different levels. I love my honey differently than I love my mama. Love has different fields, different placements. And any relationship that we're in, working, I can enjoy work, working with my coworkers and I can love to be around them. My church. But we can struggle in relationships with those very same things that I said that we can love. We can also struggle. We can struggle at times with those. And that emotion that's attached to it, it can be a good feeling or it can be a bad feeling. It can make us happy or it can make us sad. It can make us joyous and it can make us angry. Are we struggling with those? Who am I missing? Whatever reason that this affliction has been allowed to come upon me, I don't want to be so focused on it that I'm missing out, reaching you for Jesus. I do not matter in the equation. Jesus in your soul is all that matters. Jesus in my soul is all that matters. But we cannot be so sidetracked and focused on everything else in our lives that we're forgetting about the people that are carrying the struggles. The people that are dealing with hard relationships in whatever areas that we talked about. And God, He needs to be a part of all of these situations and because he is the one that has the answer. And can I tell you, that is a fact. That is not my opinion. God has the answer. The problem is, we don't like his answer sometimes. Hmm? Why don't you fix it, God? Why ain't I healed yet, God? Why am I prayer answered, God? Huh? Sometimes we don't like God's answering or God just not answering. But who am I missing in the process? I want you to come out tonight. I want you to come forward tonight. I want you to know there's a seriousness that needs to be met tonight. You're the only one that can make that decision. You can stop carrying those things by yourself and ask God into the matter. Sister CJ, have you? Yes. My team is praying for me. My family is praying for me. I have a wonderful church network of people praying for me. And I don't want them to be discouraged because God hasn't instantly healed me. Don't be discouraged. But I'm trying to cope. And you know what? I'm trying to do that because I want to be sufficient for what God has called me to do for you as my family. I don't want to let you down. I don't want to disappoint you. But I want to encourage you. It can be difficult. The answer is yes at times that God will give us or not give us. But it's not about what we want. It's about what is best for us. I've had to make hard decisions that seem to have ripped my heart out. And it was harder even keeping that decision. It was harder sticking to the decision that I made. But you know what? It was best. It was best for the both of us. It was best for the whole group. 
And sometimes when people don't see that their season or their time or whatever the reason has ended, it can just make it all the more worse, right? You can only go so far with folks. If people don't help themselves, there's nothing we can do to help them. Huh? I can only go so far. But you can walk back out tonight the same way you came in if you want to. But you don't have to. Who am I missing tonight? Who, who for the last couple of weeks? Because, yeah, I've been, I've been blinded. Literally. This one eye seeing stuff is no fun. Huh? But who? Who? My heart's reaching out to you. Who? Who needed to hear some hope tonight? Who needed to hear about love of Jesus tonight? Who needs to know that you don't have to carry this by yourself? You can come and you can join with us in prayer. Will the situation change automatically? No. Yeah. It might. But if it don't, it'll be in His time. Amen? You've got to be willing to accept. It's on God's time. A uh, pastor was preaching yesterday morning and he was talking about when you come up to be prayed for, to be healed, and then we put God on a time schedule and we say, okay, well, ain't healed by now. Hmm, I should not pray about Hmm, he ain't healed by now. You know, God has no relevancy of our calendar and our watches. He said to believe, pray, and faith. Now, when he decides to honor it, that's his business. you got to keep on believing until it comes to fruition. Why suffer and why be upset? Why hurt? Why carry something when the shepherd is probably looking for you? That's what that song was playing tonight. He came looking for me. He came looking for me. One night I was out on a troubled sea. But he came looking for me. He's coming looking for you. And no matter how many times you've fallen, he said, though a righteous man falls seven times, he gets up. No matter how many times you fall, you get up. Don't lay there. The shepherd's looking for that one, not the 99. Remember, that's what we read. He was okay. Those 99 were fine. He was concerned about that one that got away. And he looked out and he said, Who am I missing? Who am I missing? Who am I missing? And he didn't stop until he found. We can't stop. I can't stop until I know, Jess. Who am I missing? Who needs to be found? Who? needs to be prayed with tonight. Who needs to have hope? Thank you for that, Anne. And that's how much God cares for each of us as individuals. And I pray you've, you've been listening because I want to say whatever you have felt during just these full, few moments, whatever you have felt or experienced in these couple of minutes is to let you know that He cares. If anything was impressed on your heart at any moment that I was talking in the different formats or the places or the people, whether they're hurting of the arrows or they're being challenged in those or they're dealing with different relationship issues, at any of those moments and you were touched, that's saying God cares. He's trying to reach out to you. Don't push that hand away. Don't push him away. Don't push him away. But who am I missing? I asked a couple of my team to come up and I'd like for them to do that now. I've seen one hand go up and I want you when they get up here and, and stand and ready, I want you to come on up. If we form a line, we form a line. Because I want to pray with you. I want God to meet you where you're at. And you ain't going to get it by just sitting there acting like I'm going to wait till the next service. Because the next service might not come. That's right. For you. We might have beer, but you might not. Hurting. Hurting from so many arrows of the situations. Is that you tonight? Come on up. Let's pray. Are you hurting from all the different arrows, from all the different situations? <laughs> from all the different things that you are combating with and you feel like you're beating your head against the wall? Come on now. We're all adults. We ain't in school no more, right? Put that, put that little stuff aside. If you need help, come and get help. 
That's how you get it. That's how you get it. That's what's important is you get what you need. If somebody else don't need it, honey, I'm going to take it. Because I'm just greedy like that. I love the blessings of the Lord. I love to feel the Spirit of God. I love for Him to come by and touch me. I love for God to come. I wish He would come and heal me right now if it's His will. But if it's not, I'm going to keep on praying. I'm going to keep on trusting. I'm going to keep on doing my thing. Tie until I know to go different. Come. Are you facing that? Are you one that's being challenged? Come. Are you being challenged tonight with different things? Come. Let us pray for you. That's what we're here for. Are you struggling with relationships? All the different relationships that we can be in. And I only named a few. Come. Who am I missing? Who is God trying to speak to tonight? Is it just Stephen? Is it just him? Is he the only one? Who am I missing? I believe God touched more than just one tonight. Them chairs ain't got no seatbelts on them as far as I know. Come, be found of the Master that's willing to help you. That's willing to reach out to you. That's willing to stir your soul and meet you where you're at. So that we may all rejoice together. Rejoice together. That God can really just love on us the way He wants to. Come. Let us pray over your situation. Come on, Allison needs somebody to pray over. Will you be willing? Will you be willing? Oh, hallelujah. I need it. I need him and I want it. Hallelujah. Any of my team. Any of my team. Family must be good tonight. Any of my team desiring prayer. Any of the situations. Maybe I didn't name it, but you just feel like, God, I want to come and be prayed for. I need God to move on the scene. He's a long time God. Are you willing? Are you willing? He knows what you have need of. Who am I missing tonight? Yes. yes. That the enemy's been trying to sidetrack us? Huh? I ain't here to go through the motions. I ain't about that. I ain't about that to check it off because it's Monday night and it's harvest ministry. No. I'm here to see you delivered. I'm here to see you encouraged and strengthened and, and blessed. <laughs> blessed in your soul. Yes. Who am I missing tonight? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who am I missing tonight? Um. Hallelujah, James. Well, thanks. Come on. I appreciate you, God. Anybody design prayer, brother? You want prayer? You want prayer? I know, I know your name, but I can't think. Yep, you want What's your name again? Rod. Rod. You want prayer back there, sir? Design prayer? Ma'am? You want prayer? Okay. Go ahead. Any of you up here want prayer? Any of you all up here want prayer? No, I wrote it in. Fontaine? Anybody want special prayer, sir? A special prayer? Special prayer? What's the Social Security Administration? Uh, no, sir. Just a prayer. <laughs> You desire prayer? <laughs> Brother Ed's right behind you. You can pray with you, brother. Do you, do you desire prayer? <laughs> Whatever you have need of. Yes, Terry. Yes, family. Pray in the corner. 
Walking in there, I've, I think somebody may still be in there, okay? They can at least get it for you. That'll help them out. All right. So let's go look at all these goodies. Honey, your stuff should be fine if you want to put it up there by the screen even, okay? All right. All right. There it is. The peach cobbler. I know this thing's in the way. I know. You want to handle the steak over? Hold on. Roll potato salad, the green beans, the corn, the ham, the baked chicken, the gravy, the mac and cheese. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at all that. 
Yes, sir. Okay, we're going to put the clothes back on soon to get the food. Okay, yep, we just needed this space. Would you like some peach cobbler for dessert? Yeah? Okay, what size do you need? All right. We'll see, we'll see. Don't have a seat, darling. I'm up here every Monday. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me see. You want to come back with me? Faith. Charity. Charity. Faith. I know it's one of them. I thought it was. See? Faith. Okay. She's looking at me like, no. Look at this. Ooh. All right. Faith. Thank you, Faith. <laughs> All right. We're going to get another table, so... Okay. I know that middle seat. All right. We got to get some more chairs. Okay. All right. So, we're getting the tea. Look at Miss Terry's plate there. Woohoo! All right. They're almost done, guys. Wow. I needed a building, but you know what? I think I need a bigger building. Brother Ed. Did you hear me? I said, I needed a building, but I think I need a bigger building. <laughs> All right. Do I still have some medium men's? Okay, Ty was looking for some clothes. And then I don't know if I had any men's size 10 shoes. He was asking. There's one pair of men's shoes here. So okay. All right. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right. The ladies are almost through. Almost through. All right. All right. Look at this. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, guys. You can come on back. And we're going to get some more tables put out. All right. I can't lift on nothing, but... Do you think it's possible we can get that skinny table, maybe? Yeah, possible. At least for these chairs here? All right. And then Ty. Ty's in line, ain't he? <laughs> Was there that size? Shoes 10? We'll take them. And then the medium clothes are open. They got it out there too if you want to check it out. All right. Let's see the guys' plates. Oh, yeah. How is it? How is it? Good? All right. Delicious. Look at them. Yo, you just look so happy doing this. Do y'all miss this? Aww. This is awesome. How do you feel? You, you like coming in? You, you like picking your food? Yeah, you like selecting it? Oh my goodness, let me see that. Woo-wee, look at these guys' plates, man. They know how. Okay. All right, let me go find some bowls. All right, I'm going to go do something as soon as I can turn this back around. I'm going to be productive and go find some bowls or plates for the peach cobbler because there's no room on the plates. Such a blessing. Oh, yeah, we got some plates. Such a blessing that was brought to us. Every week is a blessing. However, this was just like an extra special blessing. So, wow. All right, here we go. We can put some on plates. Yes, we can. Thank you. I can take them. So, but we still got raffles, but I'm trying to get them to come in. So, 
Let me know do y'all want to stay on or you want me to hop off? Yeah, I still got to do the raffle. Let me know if you want me to stay on or go ahead and cut it off. You won't hurt my feelings if you want to be cut off. I just want to know. All right. So, just let me know. Yeah. Hot sauce. Pepper? Okay. Hot sauce and pepper? All right. I don't know where anything is in this kitchen, but we'll find it. I guess that's hot sauce. Yeah, it says hot sauce, don't it? All right. And salt and pepper. We can do this. Oh, my gosh. I think, y'all, there's still more stuff back here. I don't even think they took everything out. Look at this. Wow. What do we still have back here? Just more of the same. Dang. Here, I'll take the, I got all that. I'll take the whole thing. I'll take the hot sauce, too. All right, the guys on the front row wanted the hot sauce yeah. and some pepper. This is awesome. All right, as soon as everybody gets through, then we'll do the uh, 50, the, not 50, 50, but the raffle tickets. I've not forgot. I've not forgot. I know, right? Wow, Sister Laverne, I know. That was just awesome. It's just awesome. All right, Sister Janet, I understand, honey. All right. All right, we're getting ready to do the uh, raffle tickets, your blue tickets, since everybody's got uh, pretty well seated. You get all that? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Oh my word. I'm going to say the last four digits on this one. Okay. All right, I'm going to go. You have to snap the picture. Oh. Yeah. Got, have you got any pictures of you today? No. No, I got nothing. All right. I'm going to say the last four digits. You'll know why when I have to say this number. All right. Oh, I know the number. Zero, six, six, six. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, zero, six, six, six. Oh, man. 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 Oh, man.
got more food in the back here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hop off. So just wanted to share that with you, with the folks that uh, do help and make that possible with the gift cards and the bug spray. And so thank you. We'll remember the prayers. I'll get a chance to see your comments. When I get off here, um, I don't always I don't get to look at them until afterwards. But I see this prayer request for your dad, Sister Laverne. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. But we love you all. Thank you for those that were able to stay on, share the message if you thought it would it'd be a blessing to somebody, and for the ministry's sake, just getting the ministry out so folks know that we're out here, what we're doing, that if they think of us whenever they want to donate. We appreciate it. We love you. We'll see you all next week. What time? 12 o'clock. Thank you.